Hello guys, welcome to BioEd. I am Aman from BioEd and I am welcoming you to a new video tutorial on the cells of the immune system. So in this video tutorial, we will be talking about all the different cells that constitute the immune system. See as in the previous video lecture, we have studied about the different types of immune system and their immunity. In this video tutorial, we will be studying about the different cells which constitute the immune system. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Hello guys, so let us study about the cells of the immune system. These cells of the immune system are the basic building blocks of the immune system. That is, they are circulating in the blood. They are circulating in the blood and lymph over all of our body. They are throughout of our body. They are present in the blood and each and every organ and tissue. Uh, their distribution is of utmost important. Why? Because they are like, I gave the example in the last video of the police. They are like the police. That is, they prevent the city from getting harm. Similarly, these immune system cells protect our body from getting any harm or infection or any disease. So, these immune cells are distributed totally in our body so that they can encounter the pathogens the harmful things that are entering our body to protect itself from any place wherever they are entering either from our head, hand, legs, anywhere from our body. So that's why these immune system cells are distributed throughout the body. Uh, next thing is that they are present as circulating cells in the body and they are found in the cell uh, blood. These uh, cells of the immune system are found in the blood but their response to microbes that is their interaction and trying to kill them the response response to microbes occurs in the lymphatic system and other tissues in the lymphatic system and other tissues that is they are circulating throughout the body in the blood but their response to the microbes that is their encountering to the microbes and trying to eliminate them trying to remove them occurs in the lymphatic system and other tissues so now we will be talking about the different types of immune cells the basic classification of the cells of the immune system are primarily of five types the first is phagocytes. These are the cells which do the process of phagocytosis that we will discuss later. Next are mononuclear phagocytes. These mononuclear phagocytes are oftentimes called as monocytes or macrophages. Next are granulocytes. These cells have granules in them and they are also categorized into four types which are mast cells, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. We will also discuss about these cells in detail. Next are APCs. What does APC mean? A means for antigen, P means for presenting, and C means for cell. So these are that type of cells which take the antigen and present them on their surface. That is they take and kill the antigen and they present them on their surface so that the immune system recognize that something wrong has entered the body. And the last type of cells that we are going to talk about are lymphocytes. These are the cells of the adaptive immune system and these are also of three types B cells, T cells and natural killer cells. So we will be discussing about these cells in detail but now for now we will be just constantly uh, focusing on uh, phagocytes. So let us talk about phagocytes. As the name suggests phagocytes that is they perform the function of phagocytosis. 
We have also uh, learned about this thing phagocytosis in the previous video that phagocytosis is the process of engulfing that is ingesting and digesting the microbe that is these are done by the phagocyte phagocyte cells and what they do whenever they encounter a microbe they engulf it that is they eat the microbe and digest it to prevent our body from other infections they are present virtually in each and every cell organ and tissue of our body they are present in every organ and tissue of our body and they are the cells of the innate immune system and they are also the first line of defense that is these cells are responding instantaneously that is as soon as any microbe enters our body they are resp responding instantaneously that is the first cells which comes to protect our body are the phagocytes as soon as the microbe enters our body these cells come and these cells try to eliminate the pathogen and the microbe by the process of phagocytosis the functional response of phagocytes in immunity are in a sequence and these sequence are of four basic steps so let us talk about the four basic steps that these phagocytes do in the process of immunity so the first step that they do is the recruitment of cells at the site of infection first is recruitment of cells that is as soon as any infection is done in our body as soon as any microbe enters in our body these cells what they do they start secreting some chemicals and uh, chemical mediators that try to call uh, cells uh, other different cells uh, and phagocytes phagocytes at the same place where the infection has occurred that is they start the recruitment of cells they start calling the cells at their place that something is wrong the next that they do is recognition and activation so what do they recognize they recognize the microbe that is the recognition of microbe is done in this step and their activation is also done that is activation of phagocytes is done in this step see what happens in this step is uh, the phagocytes recognize that uh, recognize the microbe at the site of infection and they are activated by this microbe how we have also dis discussed this in previous topic uh, the, that the cells of the innate immune system consist of prrs that are pattern recognition receptors So what they do, these PRRs recognize the PAMPs on the microbes. That is, these are the patterns that are present on the surface of microbes, such as this is the microbe and there are some patterns on the surface of this microbes. So these patterns are recognized by the cells of the immune system that are uh, phagocytes we are talking right now. So what the phagocytes do, these phagocytes recognize these pathogen uh, patterns on the pathogen that is these are the prrs and these are the patterns pampas so what uh, in this step happens is the recognition and activation of the uh, leukocytes by the microbes next what happens is the ingestion of uh, microbes third point is ingestion so what does ingestion mean ingestion means engulfing engulfing means to eat so what basically happens in this is that this leukocyte or the phagocyte what happens is uh, suppose this is the microbe what happens is this microbe is engulfed by the phagocyte so 
So what it does, it starts attacking on the microbe and it starts engulfing it. And what the last step is, the last step is destruction of the microbe. Last step is destruction. So this is the for, uh, functional uh, sequential steps that phagocytes undergo in the immunity. So the first is that they recruit the cells at the site of infection. The next is they recognize the microbe and get activated by the combination of PRRs and PAMPs. The third is the ingestion that is the engulfing. That is this thing that is these are phagocytes engulf the microbes. And the last is the destruction that is uh, they uh, engulf the microbe and destroy because these phagocytes contain in them different enzymes such as lysozymes and other uh, enzymes that break down the microbe and kill them. Okay, so this was all about phagocytes. Now we'll study about mononuclear phagocytes. So we'll talk about macrophages. So what basically are macrophages? Macrophages at times are also called as monocytes. Or at times they're also called as mononuclear phagocytes. Uh, they are similar. They are similar to the process. Uh, uh, they are similar to the cells of phagocytes, and they also perform the process of phagocytosis. So uh, these are also the cells of the innate immune system. Innate immune system cells, and they also perform the process of phagocytosis. So they comprise of uh, monocytes and macrophages. So let me tell you the difference between monocytes and macrophages. So as you can see the example over here, you can see that uh, this red thing is the blood vessel. And in the blood vessel, there are a lot of different type of immune cells. But currently, we'll be focusing just on monocytes. So this, the, this green cells you can see are monocytes. So when they are in the circulating form, that is when they are present in the blood vessel, they are known as monocytes and when these cells these monocytes come out from the blood vessel in between the cells in between the tissues that is tissue resident so when they are tissue resident they are known as macrophages Okay, so uh, uh, a main uh, important characteristic is that they have a bean shaped nuclei. Their uh, nucleus is of bean shape and they have also a fine granular cytoplasm. So these cells are also a good uh, uh, part of the innate immune system and they also do the process of phagocytosis and help in providing immunity to our body. Their diameter if you see, the diameter of the cells are somewhere between 12 to 15 micrometers. They are 12 to 15 micrometers in diameter and uh, they also contain a lot of different type of enzymes in the granules that they have. They have a fine granular, uh, granular cytoplasm such as in the cytoplasm they have small granules and in the granules they have uh, enzymes uh, such as lysozymes which helps them in the process of phagocytosis. Lysozymes, uh, ph phagocytic vacuoles also they have, they have vacuoles which are phagocytic vacuoles and other different type of things which help them in the process of phagocytosis. So now uh, that was all about uh, macrophages. Uh, this was all about the video and in the next video tutorial, we'll be talking about the different cells that are uh, uh, APCs, uh, lymphocytes and other granulocytes. So please stay tuned with the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.